No new learning can occur until children are taught what to do with that feeling of shame. I had a chance to look at the definition of shame. And the definition of shame in the New, uh, uh, new Oxford American Dictionary is a painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of one's own behavior or action. I purposefully omitted the wrong and foolish behavior because it automatically attaches a judgment to the behavior instead of considering the child making those actions because they were misguided or miseducated. Let's continue. And then I begin to think, where does a child get their awareness of the consciousness? And then I thought about New Direction's song, All of My Help. So in the lyrics or in the spirit of that song, let me provide you the answer. All of their thoughts, it comes from you. What you think is good and perfect, it comes from you. All of their thoughts, they come from you. What you think is good and perfect, it comes from you. All of their thoughts, it comes from you. What they think is good and perfect, it comes from you. All of their thoughts, it comes from you. What they think is good and perfect, it comes from you. I'm just saying what the child thinks of themselves and their consciousness, it comes from the parent. If the parent talks down to them, then they will learn to talk down of themselves because who they think they are is mirrored by what the parents think of their children. Are parents feeling shame and teaching the children to shame themselves? According to Eric Erickson's psychosocial theory of development, there is a stage at the second level of autonomy versus shame and doubt. Look it up. A person who is constantly in the shame and doubt stage of psychosocial development, it stunts their ability to learn new things. It stunts their ability to even want to grow because they're constantly in their feelings. No new learning can occur until children are taught what to do with that feeling of shame. Their feelings of shame can come from culture that cultivates how you should feel towards a certain behavior. How family expresses how you should feel towards a certain behavior. Why should you even feel this way? Because someone else says you should feel this way. If we don't attack shame at the very root and help children redefine things, man, no new learning occurs. Ooh, we want to talk about education must be rigorous, education must be relevant, but no significant learning occurs where there isn't a significant relationship, then I would further postulate or further opine that no new learning can occur where there isn't a reframing of the mindset towards shame. So that a relationship can be built. The relationship with the self, the relationship with shame, placing shame where it properly belongs placing condemnation where it properly belongs. And every time I'm learning things about counseling and psychology, I learn that people place shame at one of the last things that you should address when it's actually the first thing that you should address because that's the major block to learning new things and exploring. Having a safe cushion for strategic failure that is built around learning new things. What are your thoughts?